now after establishing a c cert uh, what will be the approach when you are going to handle handle a cyber incident but uh, organizations like sense nist uh, sei cmu all these organization have defined their incident handling processes um, i have taken the example of cisco um, uh, incident handling process it consists of uh, five st stages uh, preparation detection and analysis containment eradication and recovery and post incident activities uh, let us discuss one by one uh, preparation preparation consists of the set of actions that a cisr team has to perform for prevention of the incident it can include the appropriate security controls and access control within their organization uh, it uh, includes uh, uh, it uh, it includes security con control uh, for uh for uh, end to end systems at uh, network level firewall level or other devices which are uh, which are established within the organizations uh, the cisr team can uh, analyze the risk assessment uh, means it can analyze what are the systems that are being used within our organizations organization uh, the list of all the assets uh, making the inventory of that Uh, it can also analyze the list of critical and high valued resources that um, that are uh, that are being used uh, it can also identify the list of uh, critical path uh, using which the incident may occur uh, in the prevention approach um, the cisr team can also establish their uh, organizational cyber security policies um, uh, their um, uh, incident uh, reporting uh, procedures um, their uh, what are the things uh, what are the secure, cyber security uh, product or certif uh, product or uh, or um, or softwares that uh, that uh, one has to use and Uh, if uh, changes in the policies are occurring, then those kind of things uh, can be provided um, uh, in in the uh, during the prevention steps, so that incident can be prevented from occurring. Uh, then uh, the detection and analysis. Uh, uh, what uh, if incident is detected? The Uh, the goal of uh, this stage is a uh, cisr team has to be actively uh, actively look for uh, whether an incident uh, is uh, uh, is present in our organization or not um, and the accurate detection will lead to to uh, to uh, start analysis i think network is breaking that's why our audio is uh, not coming uh, uh, uh it is audible now um, okay uh, so uh, in detection phase the our aim is uh, 
uh, to uh, find out the incident to find out the incident as early as possible. So uh, our uh, we can follow both kind of approaches like manual approach uh, means um, uh, finding out uh, uh, any um, suspicious behavior or pattern in our um, network within our organization. And we can also use some automated analysis uh, uh, approach. Uh, so, so what things uh, we need to find out, uh, we will observe uh, the event that is occurring within our organization. We can analyze the log, we can analyze the behavior of the person. And for this analysis phase, we can use different different type of signatures and anomaly behavior to detect some incident. And if, uh, if such a kind of anomaly behavior has been detected, then we will start our analysis processes. In analysis processes, at the first stage, we will perform the triage operation. Triage means the extraction of the extraction of uh, incidents, uh, the, extract, the, the extraction of evidence for the purpose of analysis. This can be like, like the event log, the uh, firewall log, network log, server log, or it, it can be any endpoint system which got infected, their, their log files, registry files, uh, if you got some malicious mail or network activity, all these things can be collected when you want to analyze some incident. Based upon the evidence you have collected, uh, you will perform a timeline analysis that uh, when the incident was first reported and when the incident was first occurred. And in, in this timeline analysis, you will find out the appropriate conclusion that because of these things, uh, this uh, this incident was happened. That is uh, called as root cause analysis, and and uh, and you will you will find out the uh, set of IOCs, and uh, based upon the analysis, you concluded uh, with that. Uh, you will uh, the the next step will be the containment phase in that the goal will be uh, all the conclusion you have derived from the analysis phase that you will apply to find out that uh, whether uh, there is any other uh, what are the other devices which might be infected within your organization and and uh, you will remove those devices from the network to prevent further damages. Um, the, the next thing will be the, uh, you will perform the proper uh, imaging and backup, backup of those devices and, uh, and isolate from the network. Uh, the next is eradication and recovery. Uh, after uh, making all the infected devices in isolated uh, from the network, uh, the the task will be uh, uh, the actual removal of the infections um, from the organization and the restoration of affected system uh, 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 we have to apply apply patches uh, for the devices and uh, and disinfecting of the malware uh, and uh, we have to apply the uh, uh, compromised accounts if uh, uh, if any accounts has been compromised then then uh, disabling those accounts uh, in the recovery step the goal of recovery step is to begin normal process of the systems um, by uh, uh, by uh, as early as possible uh, from uh, those incidents whatever we have learned uh, we, uh, uh, the team can perform the post incident activities um, the task of uh, post incident activities is whatever we have learned from the uh, uh, from the from the incident um, uh, we we can think of what things can be improved what kind of next uh, cyber security policies uh, can be uh, can be
other other communicating teams they can perform advisories advisories and alert and they can set some future plans 